Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Stoger S4000E pellet rifle. This is a 22 caliber pellet rifle. I got this on sale for $135. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I'll include links below. This features an integrated cheek rest and a rubber butt pad. This also has a noise suppressor built into the barrel to make it more stealthy and considerate of your neighbors. This has a top rail for the mounting of a scope. You can also purchase it with a scope, but then it is $50 more. The rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation, and it has a fiber optic front sight. In order to load it, you break the barrel, you pull the barrel, then you're going to insert your pellet right there. All right, take your pellet, push it in head first, then you're going to straighten your barrel. This has an automatic safety. That is the safety, you have to push it forward to fire. We hit this bottle dead center. See the entrance wound? And uh, it's bleeding, you can see the uh, exit wound. Here is some footage from the indoor range. I was adjusting the rear sight and just uh, trying the rifle out. Okay, that is definitely close enough for our purposes for uh, killing some cans and just having some fun. It is time for the spam test. So the meat of this spam light is going to represent a small animal such as a rabbit. And the tin is just going to add a little bit of difficulty. Let's see if it killed the squabbit. There is our entrance wound. There is our exit wound. Okay, so boom, it went through the meat and blew clean out the back. Now I was using an H&N domed pellet, a domed alloy pellet. I will include a link below the video to those pellets. But yes, good penetration, the rabbit would be dead. I got a laser range finder, so I was able to measure. These uh, shots coming up are going to be 20 meters away. Enjoy. This was my longest shot that day, 30 meters, no scope. Thus far, I have been very happy with the quality of the Stoger pellet rifles. There you see the S4000E next to the S3000 Compact. And I was pleased enough with that one that I had confidence to try out the S4000E in 22. They make some good stuff. All right, check out the beauty of nature as we discuss this. So uh, it's accurate. Now, I don't have a scope for this rifle. And uh, if I were to hunt small game where I live, most of the shots would definitely be within 30 meters anyway. Ah, uh, yes, behold, the beauty of nature. Sometimes I just stare at the creek and think about my life 
for 50 hours. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. But I do enjoy nature. I hope you're all doing well and getting out there. Yeah, I'm pleased with this rifle. I mean, it's just a sweet little shooter. I think I got a really good deal on it. I was also testing that knife you see there. That's the Odin Wolf knife. I was testing that out on the same day. So, hey, if you like knife reviews and air gun reviews, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, you'll see that review coming up. But yeah, I feel like I got a great deal on this. You know, by not buying the model with the scope, I saved $50. And then there was a $15 coupon on it. So yeah, great deal. This thing, you saw it, can shoot through that spam, so that means it could shoot through a rabbit. So this is very easy to operate. It does not require excessive strength to pull that barrel. It's accurate. It shoots straight. If you're going to be shooting within 30 meters, I would just recommend using the excellent uh, sights that it comes with. If you're going to shoot um, farther away than 30 meters, I, I would recommend putting a scope on the rifle. This could pay for itself in terms of small game hunting and pest control. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you like knives, air guns, multi-tools, and all sorts of gear. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Air Guns.